Whether you're a trained chef or just a bachelor microwaving a Salisbury steak, your kitchen skills always have room for improvement. That's why today, we've put together some of our favorite time-saving kitchen tricks to keep your skills sharp and your food delicious. Let us start with an easy one. Drying lettuce off before storing is important, but keeping the moisture out can be difficult. If you don't have a fancy container like this, try placing a paper towel over the top of a bowl of lettuce before covering. It'll keep it fresh for up to a week longer. The paper towel will soak up all the extra moisture, which is one of the main reasons why it wilts and gets soggy so fast. Are you looking for the perfect, sweet, cool treat that you don't have to feel guilty about? Pick yourself out a yogurt with a container that's cylindrical or has a larger top than the bottom. Do your best to avoid the poorly designed containers, because once frozen, you'll never get them out. Next, poke a spoon or a popsicle stick through the tops of the yogurt and then freeze them before their expiration date for a nice, delicious, and quick treat. When basil goes bad, you don't have a lot of options, but the best way to keep basil fresh is to trim the stems and place them in water like fresh cut flowers. Just cover them loosely with a plastic bag. It might not be the prettiest method, but you can keep basil fresh and green for up to a week or two longer. Now we've definitely covered this one before, but it's so awesome that it bears repeating. You can quickly peel garlic in less than 30 seconds. Break apart the bulb of the garlic first, then place the cloves in a sealable container and shake vigorously for 10 seconds. The garlic will knock against the sides of the container and the skins just fall right off. Some cloves may need a second shake. Just sift through the skins, gather up your garlic cloves with no knife or gadgets required. Here's a very simple four-step way to enjoy your next orange without all the peeling hassle. Start by thinly cutting off the top and bottom of the orange while avoiding the flesh. Now simply cut a slit from the top to the bottom and gently roll the orange out into a strip. It's as simple as it looks and mighty delicious. Do you ever worry if your eggs are still fresh enough to eat, but you don't really want to take the gamble? Well, you may have heard of the float test, but that takes a lot of prep. Here's a quicker way to find out if they're good. It's called the sound test. You see, eggshells are porous, which lets out moisture and lets air in over time, which creates an air pocket. So if you hear sloshing when you shake it by your ear, they're likely at least two weeks old and should probably be disposed of. Bullseye. Did you know that there's actually a controversial debate as to whether or not cherry pits can be toxic? Well, I'd rather not get involved, so let's just avoid eating them altogether. With this simple trick, simply place a cherry upside down over a glass bottle with an opening a bit smaller than the cherry itself. Use a chopstick or backside of a skewer to poke the cherry pit and stem out while keeping the cherry remains in one whole piece. Not to mention, there's very little cleanup. Now, some of you may know the trick of rolling your fruits around a soft in them before you cut or juice them. But did you know that you can get the most out of your squeeze by nuking your fruits in the microwave for 10 to 30 seconds? This will actually soften thick peels and burst tiny juice vessels within the fruit. That's going to allow you to get more juice out without all the work. So now you know. If you haven't tried frozen grapes yet, you're missing out on one of the finer aspects of life. With summer quickly approaching, now is the perfect opportunity to give them a try. First, wash the grapes and spread them out on wax paper or a container that'll prevent them from sticking. Now place it in the freezer for at least three hours. They make lovely replacement popsicles and they can be especially useful for chilling wine without watering it down with ice. Of course, how you take your wine is really up to you, but some people do prefer it cold. Do you have cold or hard butter but still need soft butter for baking or cooking in a pinch? Perhaps the only butter you have is frozen or just too hard to use. Well, instead of waiting for it to soften, consider grating your butter to help it melt faster. That way you can avoid microwave, and heating elements that might melt your butter too quickly. Plus, you can use it on your bagels, toast, and cookie dough immediately. If you enjoyed these tricks and want more, we've got a couple videos for you here. Also, consider subscribing as we put out more videos each and every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.